The cat owner invited their neighbor over for dinner and introduced their four cats. That's Alog, Aract, Erpriller, and Astrophy, they announced. The neighbor was surprised and asked, where on earth did you get those names? Oh, those are their last names, the owner said. Their first names are Cat. When you set out on the path of revenge, dig two graves. You never know when the other guy might have cloned himself. Thank you, evil wizard. I'm so tired of John Bizarre Adventure. I don't want to see those large and colorful men on my dashboard anymore. Well, that's why they deactivated. They got hit with the colorful men. When I'm listening to my own library and playlists, I feel like a powerful wizard. But when I'm trying to show my music taste to anyone, it feels like I have a shame going on. Yeah, the only difference between a wizard hat and a dunce cap is a wide brim of privacy. Ask.com, what is a baby worm called? There is no term for a baby worm. It is just called a worm. Well, this just makes me sad. I'm calling them squiglets. I've never played D&D &D before, but I've come up with the cutest bard character I could possibly imagine. Okay, imagine this. Frog. But j j just hear me out for a second. This bard is a frog who can't speak English. All he could do is ribbit and croak. And the DM would have a list of translations of different ribbit and croak patterns to translate what the frog is saying. For example, ribbit croak croak could mean how are you? Or croak ribbit could mean good evening. I is this a good idea or would it be too complicated? No, I think it would work, but it would also come down to if your bard magic is actually going to be like ribbit singing or if you're also going to use an instrument because that might be where it gets tricky. You know, I could be the person who changes the stoplights. Red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green. It comes naturally to me. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, your boyfriend is someone's favorite Borbo. Yeah, so he's in a bunch of scenarios in their head. Super sorry. The fact that pro-monarchy arguments have degenerated over the past few centuries from the king rules by divine right and is accountable to nobody but God to um, the royals generate a lot of income from tourism will never stop being extremely funny to me. The monarchs, bad. But the castles, oh, the castles are positively lush with rats. Delete this account immediately. It's all about reading the URL names, kids. An evil spirit is playing my throat bones like a xylophone. My throat hurts. Please stop. Nobody knows where I came from. I just showed up one day and started doing my thing, and God was like, who the hell is that? I didn't invite them. Pets are amazing. You have a little guy just hanging around your house, just vibing. And they let you pet them. Whispering, no. While reading a book because you know that the character is about to make a fool out of themselves and kill you with secondhand embarrassment. Happy Feet is a story of a little autistic dude who stems so good he caused a reformation in the church. Goals, really? You do not have to complete this drawing right now. You can always come back to it later. Hey, I have ADHD. And if I stop at any given point, then this project will be dead to me. There will be no coming back to it later. To be honest, if someone just handed me a pressure washer and set me loose in the streets, I would go into a trance and just start hosing shit down indiscriminately. It's not a question of how much I could clean, but how long until I get hit by a car and die. Super Mario Sunshine. I can fix them. Okay, but I can fix the narrative. I can recontextualize events and bring out deaths of the character. I can shift priorities and strengthen relationships and show that anyone can change with enough kindness and support. And that what you admired at him has been inside yourself this whole time. Wow. <sighs> the angels and Evangelion got it right. Sometimes it is really about just being a floating orb, a floating octahedron, or a large string of light. Or sometimes the main character's mom. So I just found out that bats can purr. So does that mean vampires can also purr? I've, I, like, imagine a vampire just cuddling with their partner and they just start purring. I googled it and apparently vampires can indeed purr. This changes everything. Yes, yes, you're very beautiful, bewitching even. Awful parking job, by the way. No one can love you until you love yourself. Is like the worst possible way of articulating. If you don't respect and value yourself, it's very easy to become attracted to people who don't treat you right and then justify the mistreatment. So be careful. So that's what it's supposed to mean. That actually makes sense. Yo, Earl Grey really put his whole ass pussy into this tea blend, and I don't know what the fuck a bergamot is, but this shit tastes like men's deodorant, and it fucks.
as a habitual Earl Grey drinker, I think tastes like men's deodorant will stay with me for the rest of my life. I hate that you're kind of right. I... God damn you, wizard potion, 